Hey guys, it's Tim here and welcome to my Content Groove review, which is an AI video editor that allows you to take long form content and split that into multiple smaller uh, video pieces. Now, I'm going to do a full review, I'm going to show you everything, but before I do so, I want to mention that there is an affiliate link in the description, so in case you're interested, I appreciate it if you pick it up through that link, and all the information is on the page as well. I'm not going to discuss pricing in this video, because pricing can change, so uh, yeah, make sure to check out that link. All right, let's dive into this, and let me show you what Content Groove is all about. So right now you can see I'm logged into my dashboard and here are the videos that I've uploaded to Content Groove. Now here in the middle you can see this is an iPhone video and you may have noticed at the bottom here that it says App Store and Google Play. So it also comes with a mobile app which I will be showing you later as well. But let's take this video here, it says seven clips. Now when I click on this seven clips you will see that at the left side here, you will see these seven clips. Now, this is the AI part of Content Groove that Content Groove automatically picks uh, with the AI system uh, certain parts of your video that you can export as a single video. So when I click on one of these items here, you can see that this has been highlighted as green, and this is a certain part of the video. You can export this and upload it to other channels. Now. Honestly, here, let's take another one here. Uh, you can see this part has been selected and it's a short video. Honestly, I'm not too impressed by the AI part that picks parts of the video. I think there are better solutions out there, uh, which also stitch multiple parts of the video together. Uh, Content Groove does not do that. It simply takes pieces out of your content here, as you can see. This does not mean that this is not a great product. I think it's still a very cool product because it allows you to create videos so easily. As you can see, the interface looks really, really good. And the cool thing is that your whole video, you can see all the captions are in here. This is your whole video. So it's very easy to search for certain parts in your video. And then what you can do, you can simply select a part in the video here and you can simply take this drag here and you can drag it to here, for example, and say, I want to have to this part now. And now you can export this part of your video. Now, another thing which is very easy here is that there's a search function. So when I click for price, for example, uh, when I search for price, you can see it automatically highlights here the part of the video at 052. So it's very easy to select new parts of the video then uh, where you can say, okay, now I want to have the pricing, for example, and I want to export this part of the video. Or you can simply take one of these parts. So let's, okay, don't save. Let's say one of these existing videos, part of the videos and export that. Now, when you select one of the parts or you take one of the AI parts here, you have multiple options here at the right side. So first of all, you will be able to add captions to your video. And as you can see here, captions are being added to your video. Um, let me enlarge this a little bit more here so you can see it better. So when I click on captions in here, I can change the position of the caption so I can move this and then the captions will be on the top as you can see. Or you can say, I wanna have this at the bottom, I can move it to the left or the right. And I can also change the width. So if I wanna make it smaller like this, I can do that as well or do it full width. And then also I can change the font size. So if I want to make it bigger, I can do that as well. Plus I can also change the font color. So let's say I want to make this blue. Now my font has become blue and I can also say the background needs to be white. I can do that as well. Also, I can change the transparency in here. So if I don't want to have this transparent, I can change that to full white here and then it will not be transparent at all. Let's take it to the corner to make it really white, as you can see. So captions are being added to your video. You can also disable this, of course, uh, just whatever you prefer. Now, there's also a crop section. I just clicked on this, which allows you to crop your videos into different formats. So let's say you want to do a one by one format. Then you can simply drag this here uh, to whatever you would like to export. So let's say you want to do a nine by 16 here. Then you can simply say, I want to have this part with me in here. I want to have this part exported. Now, one of the things I really like is that you can also make this smaller. It stays in the nine by 16, as you can see, uh, but you can simply 
make this bigger and smaller. So you can say, I want to have, for example, only this headshot here. I only want to show this to the audience. And then you can do that. And then you can simply click on save clip. And now my clip will be saved here on the top. So when I refresh my screen, let me reload this. Somehow it does not refresh right now. It should be refreshing automatically. It did that before, but in this case I had to refresh my screen. As you can see here, my new clip is being rendered and it will be ready for export uh, once it's ready. So now it's going to take this part of the video that we selected or the AI and it's going to create a brand new clip of that video. Now let's say your video is ready and you want to export it. Then you simply select your video in here. Uh, let me see where is that. I think, no, stay here. Let's go to this video which we just created here. Uh, don't save here. So this video is ready as you can see here. I can delete it or I can share it directly to TikTok if I like to. I cannot show you that right now but you can upload this to your TikTok account or what you can do here is you can share it and this when you click on share options in here look what you're going to get. You can add a description to your video in this case, I'm going to leave it blank. So I'm going to show you what this will create for you. And here you can see the tags that it has added to your video. So you can also add your own tags. So if you do pricing, for example, if this is about pricing, uh, you can add this tag as well. And you can also decide how you want to share this. Do you want to keep this private? Do you want to keep this unlisted? Or do you want to make this public? Now, when I click on public here, look what happens. It's going to create a public link for me. When I click on this link and I open a new tab in my browser, this will be your share page. Look at this. Now, this is not the most pretty, pretty face here, but one you know, when you we play do this, multiple campaigns, you can do that as well. You see, it took this part of the video, the nine by 16 that we have selected. And in here, you can see this is the captions that's on my video. So if you don't add anything, it's going to add the, the captions on your video. And here you can see the topics in this video. Uh, and this way you will be able to share your content on their pages. And this is one part. Another part that you can do is you can copy this and embed this as an iframe on your website. So I always do online HTML editor to show you embeddable things here. When I paste this on your website, it will be like this and you will have an embeddable player on your website with your short clips. So this way you will be able to share the pieces of content that you have created, all these snippets, you can share these on separate pages. Or when you click this button here, uh, you will be able to download this to your computer. Um, now, another thing that I said is that also it comes with a mobile app. So let me show you the mobile app. So here you can see this is the mobile app and it, it looks exactly the same uh, except on iPhone format in this case. Uh, but when I click on a video and I click on these eight clips here at the bottom, you can see it opens the same clips that we've seen before. Uh, or I can go to the video in here and I can see the video. Do you see that? So I can play the video in here. When I click on play, I can start hey, playing the video and I can select parts in the video again. So I can say, I want to select this part, for example, I want to export this and now I can save my clip as a new clip here and it will be saved as a new clip. So mobile editing is super easy. So you can upload videos on your computer and then at a later point, you can edit the videos on your phone when you're in the train or uh, when you're driving with somebody else in, behind in the car, you can edit those videos on your mobile phone. As you can see, it goes really easy. So I can go back to the videos in here. I can select another clip. And I can do all of the other things as well. So I can go to the video. Um, I can select certain parts of the video in here. And what I don't see right now here is the cropping part, but that should also be available. So let me don't save this. Let me try it again here. Let's take a clip. Yes, now I'm able here. Do you see that at the top? I'm also able to crop these videos here on my mobile phone. I can simply do this uh, just like I did before, uh, 16 by 9 or uh, 4 by 3 here. I can say I want to have the captions on. I can even change the captions on my mobile phone, as you can see. Uh, it's super easy. Actually, it, it even works faster, I think, on mobile than on the desktop Um 
super easy as you can see and want to go back to the library here are your other videos now at the top you can see upload video or audio so i can decide here to upload a video when i click on upload it asks me if i want to take my photo library if i want to take a video or if i want to choose a file so this way i'm also able to upload videos directly from my phone now, one thing that I forgot to show you in the desktop version is here, uh, when I try to edit my text in here, so let's say the word coaching was not correctly in the captions, I cannot double click on any word. So before you start with a video, you can go to the I in here, let's say don't save, and here is all the all the captions for you that you can change in here. Now I have already contacted, have contact with them uh, through their website and they said they will uh, change this to inline uh, in the future very soon. Uh, so you can simply change it in the inline editor as well. So uh, let me see if I forgot something here. So here we have the clips. Yeah, of course here you can play the video. Uh, you can also use this part, by the way, I didn't show you that, but if you like to extend this, you can click on this and then it will extend with a line. So if I want to have the next line, I simply click on this and then the next line and the next line, the next line will be selected. And the same thing for the end, you can click on this one as well and it will shorten this part of your selection. If you want to go to the start, you go to the start in here. Uh, and that's basically it. Another thing that you can do is you can change the speed of your video, the playback speed. Not sure why you would need this, but you can change that as well. If you would like to have this 1.25 or one and a half, you can change that. In this case, we're gonna keep this to normal. And I think this is basically it. This is what Content Groove is all about. It's a simple application, uh, but very easy to edit videos uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, consider doing so. I do a lot of product reviews. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified. And uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. Again, check out the link in the description if you'd like to get this through me. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.